This is the Samsung 860 Evo. It is Samsung's new sort of budget and SSD for the general consumer. This one is the two and a half inch form factor, the standard SATA SSD, but it does come in M.2 and M SATA configurations as well. When it comes to the capacities they're offering, it starts at 250 gig, unlike the 850 Evo, which started at 128. And this one actually goes all the way up to four terabytes, which is kind of insane. In terms of the main differences between this drive and the 850 EVO, they're using the new Samsung MJX controller, otherwise in terms of the capacity for the uh, sort of cache that it has, uh, the 250 and 500 gig SSDs have 512 meg of DDR4 cache, whereas the 1 terabyte I think has a gig, the 2 terabyte has 2 gig, and the 4 terabyte has a 4 gig cache. When it comes to the speeds for the drive, they claim this is a 550 and 520 megabyte per second read and write respectively drive, with a maximum of 98,000 IOPS, and depending on what workload you're doing and stuff like that. And I'll leave the full spec sheet over here for you if you want to check that out and see uh, all the specs for all the different drives. But either way, this is still a nice step up, although not massive, especially in terms of real world performance, but uh, it's still nice to see. And obviously that extra capacity, if you're interested in it, is pretty cool to have available. As you'd expect with the SATA SSD, this is a pretty similar design to the 850 EVO, a fairly black aesthetic with the Samsung logo and the sort of gray square on the bottom. And otherwise that's pretty much it. You have the standard SATA data and power connections, the standard mounting hardware, and obviously the label on the back with all of the QR codes and uh, you know barcodes and stuff like that for your serial number and that sort of thing, but otherwise that's pretty much it for the physical tour of the drive. Moving on to my testing, I was using an Intel i7-7700K on the Z270 platform for the drive. I was using obviously the standard uh, sort of SATA connectivity as this is a SATA drive on a SATA 6 gigabit per second port running directly through the chipset as opposed to a third party controller, and uh, the programs I was using was ATTO Disk Benchmark, uh, AS SSD uh, Crystal Disk Mark, and my own uh, concoction of uh, sort of uh, real world testing, uh, which actually tests read and write simultaneously. So uh, a little bit of a sort of stress test. As with all the synthetic tests, you will see slightly different results depending on which program you're looking at, which is why I include all three here. But the highest numbers we saw were with ATTO, where we're seeing uh, 563 megabytes per second on the reads with a think about 530 uh, on the right. Uh, Crystal Disk Mark was then a little bit sort of behind that with I think about 550, 560 for reads and about 520 for writes, which is about advertised for what Samsung claim. And we have ASSSD coming up in the sort of lower section with 550 and I think about 500 uh, in reads and writes as well, but still very impressive and still a very fast drive. When it comes to my more real world stress test, uh, this is basically copying uh, all the game files for GTA 5, which is nowadays about 90 gigabytes, kind of insane. Uh, and so you take uh, those game files and then you duplicate all of them on the same drive, which means that it's reading and writing to the same drive. Normally quite a stress test, especially for more mechanical solutions. With the SSD though, it was doing a pretty decent job running between 200 and 300 megabytes per second. So I'm very impressed with the drive's performance. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, if you're after an SSD, this is a really nice one to pick up, especially in the more budget area. It has a pretty decent five year warranty and generally speaking, Samsung are pretty decent with uh, general reliability of their drives, so that's certainly nothing to worry about. It's probably gonna come in a little bit of a slightly higher price point than the 850 Evo, so if you can pick up an 850 right now, it's probably worth doing that, and especially if you wanted one of the smaller uh, sizes, stuff like 128, then you'll definitely wanna pick up an Evo now rather than wait for this to come out and then not have that option. Moving on to scoring for me, this is gonna be a 4.5 value for money in terms of performance. I think it's done doing it really good job, but there are some faster SSDs, even from Samsung, so it's going to be a 4.5. When it comes to functionality, I think they have a pretty decent setup here, including full uh, AES 256-bit full drive encryption if you want it, and stuff like that, so it's going to be a 5 for functionality, and in terms of styling, it's an SSD, they do a pretty decent job, so it's going to be, I think, a 4.5, and in terms of Tetan BB score, it's going to be a 4.5 and a gold award. It's a really impressive drive, comes in at a, re uh, a decent price point, and there's a lot of storage options available for you, up to four Four terabytes was kind of crazy so it's a pretty decent drive and I definitely recommend it. So that's my thoughts I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below are you after a new SSD let me know if you're interested in this one in the comments down below or if there's some other alternatives you'd like me to check out feel free to let me know. Otherwise that is pretty much it if you want to check out the drive especially pricing when and where you watch this take a look at the link in the description down below It'll hopefully take you to your local Amazon store where you can see you know local pricing but if you want to support the channel then feel free to take a look at the Patreon link in the description
description down below where you can support me directly or the Amazon and Overclockers UK affiliate links which also massively help out and help me you know, like genuinely pay the rent and stuff like that so thank you to you guys who are using that otherwise feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel I do videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday there will be some other videos over here for you to check out so feel free to take a look at those too and otherwise thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video